we got the Epiphone Jr. back on the bench. I got the bridge in that I wanted. Uh, thank you. I'll put the seller's link in the description. He made it right and even gave me the other bridge. He asked me if I could use it on another project, and I told him yes because I have another project coming up. But this is going to be a better replacement for that. And then, yeah, so we're going to take the strings off, get this nut off, put the new bridge on. Then we're going to make sure all the frets are level, polish them up a little bit, and then put everything back where it came from. Then we're going to put some GHS boomers on there and call it good. All right, now we got the strings off. I'm just going to lay this bridge aside. We're actually going to... test fit this bridge and make sure it fits I'm sure it will it is kind of a tight fit but uh, it's not too bad um, um, it looks like they already have it intonated pretty good for me though if I have to move the saddles I can so we're gonna take a razor blade and we're gonna get this nut off Usually, I take a rag, I put it over the fretboard, and I just tap it off. And then, you have a nut that comes off. This is the brand that I use, this is the best brand, they fit all the Epiphones and all the import guitars. So it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good pickup or pretty good nut. I like them. Now we need to check and see how straight the neck is. So what I need to do is take off the truss rod cover. This is the scary part for most people that work on their own guitars because they've been told all their life that your guitar will explode if you adjust the truss rod. That's what they're told. We got the neck straight, so we're going to check it out and see if there's any high frets. Tell you what needs done i need to hammer these frets in a little bit because they are sticking up a little bit all right now we got the frets hammered down i mean that that, that made a ton of a difference just by pounding the frets down so before you go and sand on your frets or anything make sure you pound the frets down so uh i like to use these fretboard guards to actually polish the frets with like I said, I don't have to level anything. I'm just going to polish the frets. Now, before you do any kind of fret work, you want to tape off your pickup, your bridge. <clears throat> and I like to take I like to take a paper towel and lay it right here. Just kind of tape off. And then I take my guard. You have several guards that you can buy. I get these off Amazon. So I got all the frets polished. Um, let me just go ahead and take this tape off. Then you can go ahead and glue the nut. Um, got it to the proper height. 
and then uh, you just glue it. I like to glue it with a little bit of wood glue, and that's it. You don't need JB Well. So uh, we'll put that on. We're going to string it up. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, uh, get some of my fingerprints off of it. It's my guitar, so I'm not worried about cleaning it up like really, really good, but just good enough where it looks kind of decent. So. Yeah. This guitar seen better days, that's for sure. Put the strings on. What I love about GHS uh, is it comes in a foil pack already, and it also comes in individually sealed packs. So I'm using tins today. And you just pull it tight. The saddles seem to be filed pretty good. And everything looks like it's good. So we gotta check the relief in the neck and see how that is. So we need to give it a little bit of relief. I'm going to turn it just a hair, not too much. Right. Got the neck, I got the neck adjusted where it needs to be. We're going to check the action. Set to the truss rod adjustment. We're going to check the intonation. All you need is one of these. So, this needs to come back a little bit. So, we got all the intonation done. Stress rod is all done. The relief, I'm going to check the relief again in the neck. And it's, it's in good shape, so we're going to check the action one more time. So as you've seen there, we did a lot of work to this guitar. Um, if you already have the tools like I do, it'll be cheap and it, you will benefit from doing stuff like this um, to a cheap guitar. And I bought the bridge off eBay and this bridge is a really, really, really nice bridge. You guys know that I put Wilkinson tuners on here. This guitar turned out really, really good for what it is. Um, I polished the frets. I did have to take a hammer and pound them down because there was some uneven frets, but I got to looking and they kind of they, they were kind of popped up. So you just take a brass hammer or uh, a rubber mallet or a plastic hammer and just peck them in. You don't have to pound on it like you're you know pounding in a nail. You just peck them in, and, and they should seat pretty good. And that's what I did to this guitar. And this guitar plays really really well. And this bridge is really really awesome. So you cannot beat it for what it, I got it for and the little bit of work that I put into it this guitar plays amazingly I love the pickup that's already in it so I'm not going to change the pickup I got good tuners that hold tune um, it has full size pots and everything in it so I don't have to worry about that uh, you put a new nut on there a new bridge and some tuners this is an awesome 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 guitar and uh,
I mean, after you polish those frets. I'm telling you, if you take a cheap guitar and just do fret work on it, it changes the way it plays, it changes the way it feels, and it also changes the way that you feel about the guitar. So this guitar had sketchy fret work on it anyway, it kind of buzzed a little bit. I mean, it, it was it was good from the start. It, it played good and everything, but I noticed it buzzed a little bit and you know it just it was kind of scratchy. But after you do a little bit of fret work to it, man. It plays like a mid-range guitar because everybody knows you can pick these guitars up cheap and this is what this channel is all about I'm trying to show you that you can take lower end guitars and make them into something I know a lot of people disagree and say well you never you'll never get a cheap guitar to be anything it's just something that you do something you practice on I don't believe that because I have several cheap guitars over there that I spent time on just like I did this one and you know a couple days on it and uh, it plays really, really good. It plays like a mid-grade guitar, uh, or a little, uh, just a little bit higher of a mid-grade guitar. And it plays really good. And I really enjoy playing this now because the fretboard is nice. The 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 t uh, the fret wire is nice and polished, and the, the strings bend easy. Uh, I love the bridge. It feels like it gives it more sustain. Uh, the tuners hold. I mean, this feels like something that I put a lot of money into and really I don't have very much money into it. It feels like a thousand dollar guitar to me. Now it'd be really ridiculous for me to say you know all this feels just like a Gibson four thousand dollar Gibson because that's not true. To me this feels like a higher end guitar. Um, you know mid-grade maybe eight nine hundred dollar guitar. That's what it feels like to me after I did fretwork to it. The action is super low. plays really good I mean what else can I say so this was a video on how to make an Epiphone Junior awesome and if I mean it's fun to do this stuff I buy these guitars at pawn shops really cheap I get them off eBay and parts so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this encouraged you to do something to your guitars and I'm Ronald Junior and I'll see you guys next time